Computers and microcontrollers are much better at crunching numbers than humans, especially when it comes to simple math. In Arduino, there are six main arithmetic operators we can use. Let's take a look. The first is the assignment operator. Unlike in normal mathematics, the assignment operator does not necessarily show equality. We use it to set the value of a variable. Then we have addition, which is the plus symbol. This is used to add two numbers or values in variables together. Next, we have subtraction. To subtract one number from another, we use the minus sign. Multiplication, given by the asterisk symbol, is used to multiply two numbers together. We can also divide two numbers by using the slash symbol. Finally, we have modulo, which may not have been covered in math class. Modulo, given by the percent sign, divides one number into the other and returns the remainder of that division operation. Let's see some of these in action. In a new Arduino sketch, declare an integer at the top with int a semicolon. Note that we don't need to set an initial value here. We just want to tell the compiler that we intend to use a variable with the name a and of type int. In setup, write serial with a capital S dot begin 9600, followed by a equals 2 plus 3 semicolon. Here, we're first adding 2 to 3, which is 5, and then assigning that value to the variable a, so a is now 5. Then write serial.println a, which will print the value of a. Upload and run this code. Open a serial monitor and you should see 5 appear. Now under that last line, write a equals a plus 5 semicolon. This should seem weird. In normal mathematics, this could never be. How could a number equal itself plus 5? Well, that's why the equals symbol is the assignment operator and does not necessarily show equality. The right side of the operation is computed first. So a, which is 5, is added to 5 to get 10. That number is then assigned back to the variable a, replacing whatever value was in there initially. On the next line, let's write serial.println a again to show that a has been updated to 10. Upload and open the serial monitor. Sure enough, we see that a was 5 and then got changed to 10. Let's see how the other operators work. Delete the last two lines we wrote and replace the addition operation with a equals 8 minus 10 semicolon. Upload and check the results. Because we're using a regular int data type for a, we can have negative numbers. Now, try a equals 6 times 7 semicolon. Upload that, and you should see that the answer is 42. Let's try division. Set a to 19 divided by 5 and run that. You should see 3 printed. We get whole numbers because we set the data type for a to be an integer. We can change the data type to float if we want fractions from a division operation. Note that you will need to tell the compiler that we want to perform a floating point math operation by adding a point zero after the 19 or 5. Otherwise, it'll still give you an integer result. Upload it and open the serial monitor. You should see 3.80 which is the fractional result from 19 divided by 5. It requires more clock cycles to compute math operations with floating point numbers, and floats take up more memory. So I recommend using integers unless you really need the extra precision. Let's change a back to an integer and compute the remainder of 19 divided by 5. We do that by using the modulo operator. So a equals 19 modulo 5 semicolon. Upload that and open the serial monitor again. You should see that the remainder from 19 divided by 5 is 4. Modulo has a variety of applications that could be useful to your program. For example, if you need to determine if a number is even or odd, you could use modulo 2. A result of 0 means even and 1 means odd. For example, if I change a to be 19 and then in serial.println, 
I print A modulo 2, I should get a 1 to show that 19 is odd. Let's upload and check it. Sure enough, 1 means 19 was odd. When it comes to doing arithmetic, Arduino follows a prescribed order of operations. It computes whatever is inside parentheses first. Then, it computes multiplication and division from left to right. Finally, addition and subtraction operations are computed last from left to right. We can test this in our Arduino program. Set A to 1 plus 2 times open parentheses, 3 plus 2 close parentheses, divided by 5. Parentheses are computed first, so 3 plus 2 is 5. Then we compute multiplication and division from left to right, so 2 times 5 is 10, and that divided by 5 is 2. Finally, we add 1, so the answer is 3. Change the println line to serial.println_a. Upload and check the serial monitor. Sure enough, we get 3. There are a number of shortcuts that you might run across when programming in C or C++ that simplify two or more operations. These are known as compound assignment operators. This is a table showing seven of these operations. The first is plus equals, which adds the number to the right of the operator to the variable on the left and then reassigns the new value back to that variable. Minus equals is similar, but subtracts the number on the right from the value of the variable. Times equals and divide equals work similarly, but with multiplication and division instead. Modulo equals divides the value of the variable on the left by the number or value of the variable on the right and sets the original variable to the remainder of that operation. Finally, plus plus and minus minus increment or decrement a value by one and stores it back into the original variable. While none of these operators are necessary to writing a functional program, they can often make your code easier to read. The last two show up often in loops, especially for loops. Let's try out a few of these in our program. First, let's just set A to 5 and print it. Then, after the serial.println line, write A minus equals 2 semicolon, followed by serial.println A. Upload it and see what happens in the serial monitor. You'll see that A is first 5, and then we subtract 2 from it before printing it again, which it's now 3. Now, try A times equals 2. Look at the serial monitor again, and you'll see that A goes from 5 to 10, since we multiplied it by 2. Finally, try A++ plus plus semicolon. You'll see that A is incremented by 1 to go from 5 to 6. I hope this helps you understand how arithmetic and assignment operators work in Arduino. You'll be able to use them in your program when you need to do something like calculate Celsius from a temperature sensor reading or move a video game character across a screen. If you want a challenge, try taking a number that's been stored in a variable that represents a number of seconds and then printing it out as minutes and seconds. For example, 344 seconds should be 5 minutes, 44 seconds.